One of South Korea's former presidents, John Doo Hwan, is, has uh, set off to a libel case hearing in the southwestern city of Gwangju from his home in Seoul. This case has to do with the deadly military crackdown on protesters in that city back in 1980. Our Cha Sang Mi is outside his house. So, Sang Mi, tell us what uh, you saw there this morning. Right, Mark. Right now, I'm standing in front of the former president Chun Doo-hwan's house here in Seoul's Yeonidong district. He left his house at around 8:30 a.m. just as planned to attend a libel case hearing in Gwangju district, Gwangju court district court. And now, uh, we, as you as you can see, the streets are empty. But this street was actually packed with reporters and camera crews when he left. Some 350 security and personnel were mobilized for any emergency situation, but his departure passed without incident. The former president was accompanied by two teams of detectives following the car, which carried his wife, Lee Sun ja Chun, and his lawyer. Gwangju is located some 330 kilometers south of Seoul, so he's expected to arrive at the court at around 1.30 p.m. The hearing begins at 2.30. There have been pro Chun protests going on here. Some 200 people held signs saying no trial for President Chun doo -hwan, and shouting it is a violation of human rights to open a trial about something that happened 40 years ago. Today's hearing comes after the Gwangju District Court issued an arrest warrant for Chun when he refused to show up at court for a second time in January, citing his health reasons. He refused to attend for the first time back in August of last year, citing issues caused by Alzheimer's disease. So, Sangmi, a lot of our viewers here in Korea will know very well uh, the leadership of, of John Doo Han. But for our international viewers and perhaps some of our viewers here in Korea, can you just give us some context of this particular libel case that the former president is going through today? Sure, Mark. Chun doo served as the president of South Korea from 1980 to 1988. He seized power in a military coup in May 1980, where he ordered troops to fire on student protesters in Gwangju, who called for him to step down, killing around 200 people. Uh, Chun was sentenced to death in 1996, but was pardoned and released from custody the following year by the Kim Myung-sam administration. He was indicted without detention in May 2018 on charges that his memoirs, published in 2017, disgraced the late activist priest Cho 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 insisted that uh, in his life he had seen military firing on citizens during the bloody crackdown of Gwangju. Chun denied the priest's claim in his memoirs, calling Cho Satan, wearing a mask and a liar. Later, a relative of priest Cho filed a libel case, uh, libel suit case against Kim. If convicted, Chun faces up to two years in prison and also about 5,000 U.S. dollars in fine. Back to you, Mark.